Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another bi-weekly makeup basket and as per usual lately I have just a ton of products. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it and just start uh, with letting you know what I'm going to declutter from my last basket because if you've watched my last couple you'll know that the purpose of me pulling so much product is that I want to really compare things to each other and um, just find out what I do or don't enjoy and then I can declutter things out of my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the products that I'm going to declutter from my last basket and I'm going to start with this Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation stick and this is the shade 110 porcelain. I wore this a couple of times. I wore this on my day off and I felt like it was a little bit oily and it started to um, break down on my face pretty quickly. As soon as I touched my face after putting powder on, I had a big patch where I had nothing just from touching my face. So I was a really, really a little bit leery to wear this to work because I like I've said many times, wear a mask all day. I'm taking it on and off constantly. So I was afraid that this was really going to break down my makeup by the end of the day. It really didn't do too bad. But every time I touched my face, I was coming away with product on my fingers. And it's it didn't look too bad on my face. But um, I just really didn't enjoy it. And compared to the other stick foundation that I pulled in the last basket which was the Flower Beauty one. This didn't compare at all so I'm keeping that one and going to declutter this one. The next thing that I'm going to declutter, um, the two things that I'm going to declutter are two blushes and this is the L'Oreal Paris Celestial um, Cream and I just felt like I didn't really enjoy this color on my cheeks. It was nothing special on my cheeks and it is older. I am just going to go ahead and declutter it and not pass it on to anybody. This is their Magic Smooth Souffle. And then this is the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. I have wore this in the past and I remember not being terribly impressed with it in the past either. It's got a lot of gold shimmer running through it and it just didn't impress me. It just didn't look great on my cheeks. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this. Some of these things I'm really kind of just forcing myself to declutter if there is not an excitement about it or anything that I really, really enjoy about the product. So it may have been something that I wouldn't have decluttered in the past and clearly haven't till this point. But I really want to get some things out of my collection. So the next thing I'm going to declutter is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And if you remember from the last basket, I compared this to the Wet n Wild Where the Dreamers Go. And what I feel about this one is that it's just a little bit too glittery for me. The other one is more of a pearlized kind of finish. This definitely has some glitter to it. And if I want something with glitter, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay um, highlighters that they first came out with. And um, I really enjoy those, even though they're full of glitter. But um, since I have so much that's similar to this and not glittery, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. The only blush that I didn't get to in the last basket was this L'Oreal Visible Lift. I thought that I might just go ahead and declutter it, but I really feel like I want to give it a chance. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in another basket down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back for now. And um, the last thing I just wanted to show is my use on my Lorac um Pro 2 palette. Just wanted to show you that I hit pan on this shade Nectar, which has kind of been my goal with using the palettes that I pull each two weeks is hitting pan on at least one shadow, hopefully at least one shadow in each palette. But, um, I wasn't able to do that with the other palette, but I did enjoy it very, very much. Um, I am going to be doing an October Favorites video, so you might see more of that palette in that video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the products that I'm pulling for this next basket. And one of the things I wanted to say was that um, just showing you that blush that I wasn't able to use in the last basket 
shows me that I have really been able to get to use all of the products that I've pulled, which is a big thing to me. I've always wanted to make sure that I can at least use the products that I'm pulling. So um, I was able to do that. And the light's getting a little bit weird, so I apologize. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. So the new basket, I have been using a new primer. This is the It Cosmetics Number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. And I did finish up two... Um, sample primers that I was trying to work on and I'm getting ready to start another project where I'm going to include some sample primers. So this may go back on the back burner but I really do enjoy this. This was something that I had a sample, several samples of in the past and I did have this full size of this so I used up all my samples before I started using this. But this is the last primer that I wanted to finish up this year and then I think I have finished up four primers that I wanted to use this year so if I even get halfway through with this this is a win to me so that's the primer that I'm using foundation is a little bit nuts but I, I am um, wanting to really weed some things out so the first thing is what I'm wearing today and I didn't think I was going to like it but it, as you can see I've almost finished the entire bottle and I just for whatever reason felt like I wasn't going to enjoy it anymore um, but this is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. And um, as you can see, I have so little left that since I pulled it out today just to put on, I want to go ahead and finish this and hopefully finish this in the next two weeks. Um, another one that I wanted to give another shot is this Benefit Bigger Than BB Big Easy Liquid to Powder um, I guess they consider it a BB cream. I haven't used this in a long time, but I know that I really enjoyed this, and I just wanted to make sure that I still really enjoy this. Um, it does have a broad spectrum SPF 35, but this expired in 2015. I'm not worried about the expiration date because I feel like it's only expiring on the... SPF and that's the reason why they put that date on these. It still smells good. It still looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and use this in the next two weeks. Um, a foundation that I wanted to give a shot and kind of declutter one or the other is this Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. I've heard good and bad things I feel about this. I can't remember but this is in the shade Fair Light and this is in the shade Light. I'm feeling like only one of these shades is going to work for me and I'm definitely going to declutter the other one if not both um, if the formula doesn't work for me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give these two a shot. The next two that I want to kind of uh, compare to each other, this is the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream, another foundation I know that I used to love. I don't know if I went ahead and found this in my collection after I bought this shade, but I found this shade at Big Lots, and it does have a Big Lots coupon um, barcode on it. And I knew it wasn't my shade, but I figured I could make it work because I knew I really loved this shade. And then somehow I ended up with this. So I'm not sure if they're still selling it and I ended up buying it in my correct shade or what. But I have these two shades. I'm pretty sure this shade is going to work for me and this shade is not. But I'm going to go ahead and um, try out the foundation formula and then try out the shades and kind of declutter one, the other, or both. The next foundation that I have is the MAC Match Master Foundation in the shade 2.0. I have some makeup, um, like, pigment drops from Hard Candy that are supposed to be like the Cover FX drops. And and I want to see if that is going to make this shade a little bit lighter because I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me. I think I was matched for this when I was a little bit tanner and the guy was insistent upon the fact that it needed to be matched to the redness in my skin. Otherwise it wasn't going to match the rest of, or the redness in my face, otherwise it wasn't going to match the rest of my body. I, I don't know that I believe him because I was matched to a completely different color with somebody else. So... Um, but those are the foundations, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the blushes, which I do have a lot of blushes here. Um, the first shade I'm just going to pick out is this TG Awaken Glow Blush. I've always been intrigued about this, and I haven't used it. It's a, it survived a declutter, so um, I want to go ahead and give this a shot. 
And then I have three Wet n Wild blushes here. This first one is Apricot in the Middle, which is one of their new ones. This is Heather Silk, which I know I really like. And this is Berry Shimmer, which I don't think um, I have used very much at all. So um, I'm going ahead and give this a shot. I don't know if this is one of the ones that I pulled in one of my first baskets or not. If not, if it is, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. So those are the three Wet n Wild. And two blushes that I wanted to kind of compare to each other and kind of have a neutral option. This is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Koi. And this is kind of like a neutral, um, like nude kind of blush. And this shade is the, this is the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in the shade Soft Mink. And it's got a little bit of a pinkness to it, but I think it's pretty similar in finish to this e.l.f. shade. So I wanted to go ahead and compare these to each other and see if I wanted to keep both. And two shades as far as blush shades that I'm on the fence about are these ColourPop blushes in the shade Strike and in the shade um, Avalon. And I believe this Avalon was supposed to be a highlighter for darker skin tones. And it's definitely got like more of a copper kind of feel to it. And then of course this shade right here reminds me very much of Max like Cranberry or Max um, Coppering. And it seems more like an eyeshadow to me. So I might end up decluttering these two. I'm not quite sure. I will see. Uh, now on to bronzers. One of the biggest things I wanted to do with this basket is really compare the two of these bronzers. One, they're like super huge and take up a lot of space in my collection. Um, and two, they don't seem like they're all that different. So this is the shade for blondes. And this is the shade for brunettes. So if you can see, like, I know the lighting's off out here, but really, they don't look all that much different at all. So I'm going to go ahead and see about these two blushes, uh, two bronzers. Um, and the last NYC Sun and Bronze bronzing powder that I know I want to give a shot to is this Hampton's Radiance. I know that I really, really love the... Um, Montauk bronze so I'm not even going to put that into a basket right now because I'm not thinking about decluttering it so this is what this looks like I've used it in the past you've got some pink strips here and here and then you've got brown and then like a cream shade in the center so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot and then also this Rimmel London natural bronzer in the shade sun bronze And I just wanted to see how I like that and see if that's something I might want to declutter. And then one last um, thing right here is um, something that I got from my friend Abby in a video that I'm going to be posting very soon. This is the NYX blush in the shade Taupe. And I'm going to use this as a contour um, and see how I like this. This was something that she decluttered out of her collection because... Um, she didn't really think it was all that great or special, so I wanted to see how I like this because it is so raved about on YouTube especially, so I wanted to give that a shot. And now on to highlighters, and then we will go to eyes and then lips. Um, so as far as highlighters go, I have two liquid type highlighters that I wanted to try. This is the Maybelline touch of light luminizing face glow and this one is actually a bronzing this is the dream sun bronzing face illuminator which I think I'm not really going to care for and I'm going to want to declutter so I wanted to give those two a shot I have two more kind of cream type um highlighters that I just wanted to get some use out of because they are cream. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color Parasol and this is like a peachy kind of shade and then this is the shade in Monster and this has 
Um, God, I wish you guys could see that. It's got like a purple kind of duochrome to it, so. Okay, moving along. Oh, so I had these two Victoria's Secret that I think I've used, but I don't remember. Um, they look like they've been used. Um, Victoria's Secret highlighters. This is in Impassioned, and this is in Next to Nude. And I wanted to go ahead and give these a try and see um, how I feel about these and um, see if these are something I'm going to want to keep or declutter. So this is... I don't know if you can see that. That's like pinky and that's like kind of bronzy shade there. And one last thing I pulled for a highlighter because I know I like it just in case I get into a situation where I'm not liking any of these highlighters. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And I could have even pulled the other one which is Crown of My Canopy and kind of compare the two together and see if maybe I would want to get rid of Crown of My Canopy instead of this one. But um, I figured I just had enough. So that's it for face products. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the eye products that I'm going to use. So you know I've been pulling palettes um, usually about two each time. And I'm still in my Lorac category. I have three more Lorac palettes. Two of them that I know that I want to pull and one that I'm not so sure of whether I'm going to declutter or not. So um, I have those, but I also wanted to pull a couple of other things. One of these I'm wearing on my eyes, eyes today. This is the MAC Catch My Eye Fluid Line. And this is an absolutely gorgeous shade that when I purchased it, I intended on using it as an eye shade to begin with. So this is like a taupey kind of shade with gold shimmer running through the entire thing. It is super gorgeous. The first time I ever heard about this shade was from um, Cherish from um, Pretty Pistol 86. I couldn't think of her name at all. She mentioned um, it. I knew I wanted to buy it, but it was limited edition, and I didn't pull the trigger on purchasing it from eBay or anything like that, and it did come out again last year in the Hot Dogs collection, so I was able to get it, and I'm so glad I haven't used it since I purchased it, but oh my god, I was just thinking about it, and I knew I wanted to pull it out, and I was going to throw a color in the crease, and I just went ahead and put that on my lids today and it is just beautiful all on its own. I haven't had to put anything else on my eyes. It is just super gorgeous. So in that spirit, the next um, shade that I have is this Feminine Edge Fluid Line from MAC as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because of the lighting, but this is a very pink shade and... Um, I guess you could see it a little better back here. So this is like a really bright kind of pink with some gold and silver shimmer running through it. So I thought that would be pr really pretty on the eyes as well. And then there's this um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC in the shade Let's Skate. And it's a really light shade. But if you apply it in a light wash to your eyes... Um, it looks like nothing until maybe your the light catches your eye or somebody standing near you in just the right angle and you just have this beautiful shimmer across your eyes and it just it looks really really awesome because there's nothing like if you wore it by itself it's just this really shimmery color on your eyes and it's just super super pretty. I'm trying to go quick as this stupid lighting. Um, so the palettes that I'm going to pull are my Lorac. I know I showed this in the last video. This is the Lorac Afterglow palette. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this whatsoever. Um, so that's that palette right there. And um, I guess I'll keep it back here so I'm not really dark. So I think the shades in this are really pretty. And I'm going to have some nice pops of color for the fall time of the year. But the main palette that I'm pulling this um, basket is this Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette right here. And 
this is what this palette looks like. I know it's super washed out, but um, you guys have seen this all over the place, I know. Um, so it's not a big deal if you can't quite see it here, but this is the Mega Pro 3. I'm really, really excited to use this. I did swatch a couple of these shades, this Rush, uh, Rust and um, Pomegranate because I thought maybe they'd be really similar to those ColourPop blushes that I pulled. Um, and this color right here in Kava is beautiful, like super, super gorgeous. So I wish you could see that palette better, but this lighting is just super, super crap. Um, so I'm going to go really quickly through the um, lipstick products that I want to pull for this basket just because this lighting is driving me absolutely bananas. So there is one shade that I was going to pull for this basket that I know without a doubt that I'm going to declutter, and that is this NARS... Um, NARS lip that that is this NARS lip gloss in the shade um, Turkish Delight which is one of the first ones I ever purchased because of Kim Kardashian and it was all over the beauty community and blah 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 and um, it's got that really nasty like plastic smell to it that the old style NARS lip glosses did so one that was turning me off I put it on the other night and at first I wasn't impressed it goes on like a clear lip gloss and it always did for me and then I got this cold sore so I know that I must have put this on when one was starting um you know way back when I wore it last and so um I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because it's making sores on my mouth um and two of the um lip crayon variety that I'm going to pull is this Chroma Beauty Joystick and this is in the shade I don't know Shocking Pink so you can see that shade right there that's pretty fairly true to color even though this lighting is really shitty um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that Shocking Pink and also this elf matte lip color in the shade T Rose which is really, really pretty. It's like this dusty, mauve purple color. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that and give those two a shot. Um, this next shade is this Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Pink Possibilities. I just thought this would be a really nice um, everyday shade to wear um, if I wasn't feeling any of the other shades that I've pulled. And over top of that, I thought these two lip glosses would be really pretty. This is the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush in the shade Totally Hot. And it's got some really nice pink shimmer in it. It's a pink gloss with some really nice pink and gold glitter running through it. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Lab Shine Diamond Collection. And this is in D14, which I don't think they make this anymore. Um, but this came in a kit one time, and this is pretty much just a pink base with a lot of gold glitter running through it, so it's really super pretty. This next shade is a nude shade. This is Nude Cream by Milani. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then this last one is this Maybelline color elixir I think yeah color elixir and the color celestial coral and it doesn't even really look like a coral it's more like a kind of a mauve shade to me so that's what that looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here because I'm sure this lighting is driving you guys nuts too I don't know that I'm gonna be able to film tomorrow because I'm on call and I already know that I have to go in so um this will have to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks. Bye.